96 Impala, uh, SS, rear end. Uh, has the disc uh, brakes on it. It got a 308 gear in the rear end. It got a posi, a limited slip posi in it. But what we're gonna be doing, man, we're gonna be prepping this uh, rear end. So we gonna go through the whole process, man. We gonna clean this guy up. Uh, we gonna replace the brake lines on him. Uh, we, we just gonna make sure everything is done, man. Then after everything is done, it's all clean, all the parts I knew on the rear end, we're gonna put them in the 72. Have disc brakes in the back, posi in the back, lower gear ratio. We're gonna see how this bad boy drive then, YouTube. So we'll be back in a minute. Coming back at y'all one more again with another great video, YouTube, on Chevy's R Us, man. I know y'all see me got my mechanic hat on, so y'all know what time it is, YouTube. We got here in the garage, man. It's gonna get a little something done. YouTube, YouTube. If y'all wanna learn how to work on these old school cars, you wanna learn how to do LS swap, or if you just like looking at it, Old school cars, you two. I'm gonna need for you to lock in with me right now. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Go ahead and turn your notification bell on. That way you see the videos when I post them. If you are with me, you two, I want you to get in the comments and say, look, I'm riding with you, Tone. I'm with you, Tone. But anyway, you two, you two. Uh, I'm excited today, man. I feel like I got a whole new project. I mean, you know, we working on the 72 convertible right here, man. We got the 72 convertible. Got the uh, LS swap in it. Boom. You know y'all see it. Uh, working through some steering issues right now. But today, uh, we gonna start prepping this rear end, man. Uh, let me show it to y'all real quick. What you see is a rear end that come out of a 96 SS Chevy Impala. It has the disc brakes on it. And uh, I, it got a 308 gear in the rear end. I looked up the VIN number and all of that. But we're gonna take the cover off and we're gonna test it to make sure it's a 308. But what I discovered is that it got a posi, a limited slip posi in it. Both wheels spin the same way. So that means it's got a posi. But what we're gonna be doing, man, we're gonna be prepping this uh, rear end. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get this space. I know y'all see my junky garage, man. But I'm gonna clean the space out so that we can sit this rear end on my workbench. And we can start prepping it up, YouTube. Uh, and I'm just excited, man, because I like taking stuff like this right here and making it look new. Making it look new, you know what I'm saying? Rebuilding it. Making it look new, YouTube. So we gonna go through the whole process, man. We gonna clean this guy up. Uh, we gonna replace the brake lines on him. Uh, we, we just gonna make sure everything is done, man. We gonna make sure everything is done. That way, you know, uh, this should be as clean as the rest of the car whenever we put it in, man. I mean, I could take it and put it in just like it is, but it'll be dusty and crusty. I don't wanna do that. You know, I, I, I wanna clean it up. I wanna make it look good. Uh, like the rest of the car, like the engine bay. I want to make it look good like this. You know, I want it nice and clean. Just like the engine bay, you know. And then whenever we pull the other rear end out, it's in the car now. We're going to clean up underneath the uh, rear end. Like, 
um, on the body of the car. Clean it up, make sure it's painted, make sure it look good. Let me make a space for this. And uh, I'm going to get back with y'all in just a little bit, YouTube. All right? Later. All right, YouTube. Right, get this sucker on top of here. This can work on right now. Back it up.
like it is, you too. I got it set up on the workbench. Nice and sturdy. So, that's it. All right, you too. As you can see, I got it all broke down. Got all the brake lines off. Got everything off for the rear end. Took the calipers off, the caliper brackets off. Got all the brake lines off. <clears throat> got everything off. Just wanted to show y'all. This rear end didn't have no emergency brakes in it. We're gonna put some emergency brakes back in it. But here is all the parts. Looks like these brackets are good. They just need to be cleaned up, painted, and repacked with some grease. Um, the calipers, they actually, the calipers actually feel pretty smooth. Uh, what we're going to do, though, we're going to get just them to put a, a light turn on the rotors. But they actually feel pretty smooth. They don't have no grooves or nothing in them. So we're going to go back with these rotors. Uh, I think the calipers are in good standing. Uh, they don't look too, they look a little rough, but what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take uh, some sandpaper and hit around here. That way that sucker's smooth. Uh, hit around there with some sandpaper. Uh, I might end up replacing these calipers. I don't know yet, I ain't decided yet. I tell you what, drop in the comments if you think I should uh, replace these calipers or not. Uh, by the time I clean them up, hit this with sandpaper, and uh, they're gonna be looking pretty good. They probably work just as good as they look. But let me know what you think, YouTube, if I should replace the calipers. Uh, drop it in the comment section, tell me what you think. So, just want to show y'all all the old stuff I pulled off of it. It's about maybe 40 minutes, 50 minutes later. So right now we're gonna work on getting some of this rust and some of this grease and stuff cleaned up off of this rear end. And so that's what we're gonna be doing, YouTube. We'll put a wire brush. I got a couple of wire brushes right here. And we'll put these on the drill. We're gonna go at it, YouTube. So I'll be back in just a little bit, YouTube. Later. All right, YouTube. Just got back from the uh, auto parts store. Uh, we picked up a couple of brake parts. Uh, this is the center brake line. Uh, we got the left and the right brake line. Uh, we got a differential gasket, the cork kind. We got some bleeder valves right here. And we got this damaged screw extractor. Uh, that's so we can get this little bleeder valve out, broken off at one of the calipers. So yeah, there it is right there. So we're gonna use that kit to get that out. So uh, pretty much, uh, we got the end, rear end set up uh, on our workstation. We got it stripped down, got all the pieces uh, off the rear end, and we just went ahead and hit it with a wire brush uh, on a drill, knocked off some of that crusty, rusty stuff, and uh, that's going to be pretty much all we do for the day. Our next steps is going to be to pressure wash this down real good. Um, prime it, spray it with some primer, and then um, paint it black, you two. So, that's, that's what we're going to be doing next. So, once again, uh, for those of y'all that don't know, this is a rear end out of a 96 power. Uh, it has a limited slip. So y'all can see, I'm going to... Yep. Both wheels are rolling forward. Uh, it's got a 308 gear. So we're going to be doing a 
Rain swap. 96 and pop. Rear end swap. We're gonna take this 72 rear end out. And we're gonna put this in, rear end in the 72 that we got out of the uh, 96 Impala. So uh, that's what we're doing. We're just prepping YouTube. So coming up next, we're gonna clean it down. We're gonna uh, prime it and then put a good coat of paint on it. And then we're gonna start cleaning up, uh, get the calipers turned. The rotors turn and clean these calipers up, you two. Calipers still got some life in them. All right, back on the next video, you two. You two, you two.